Hey YouTube, here's a video I've made as requested about the solar system auto tracking on my 1960 Richline Holiday House 38 foot houseboat, mostly aluminum construction. The panels were acquired from eBay and Amazon, 100 watt panels each. They put out, uh, I think, five amps each. The uh, configuration is kind of bleacher set up so that in the morning all the way to the evening uh, when they're at a, the maximum angle, uh, the back row is a little taller so you have a better chance of not receiving shadow from the first and lower row, increasing your harvest, your solar harvest. There's a zoom in on the uh, tracking device, flashing uh, green light and maybe a an on green light. It has a fuse in it as well for protection. I think it's a one amp. The enclosure is clear and weatherproof. There's actually a tiny spider living in there. I think he's going to get hot. There's this indicates more the bleacher configuration. You can see how the left row is taller. Those are probably at full tilt where there's limit switches that keep them from going further and blowing fuses or burning up the motor. Uh, the black switch box has got two three position switches. Down is uh, manual where I use a remote control and all the way up is the auto setting for the uh, sensor to control the motor to position the panels. The uh, tracker itself without the closure was around $40, maybe 15 for the closure. The wire going to it is uh, two conductor Two, two separate two conductor uh, doorbell type wires, brown uh, covering and a red and white wire, solid copper conductor. There's a red switch in the lower right, that's the main, and it also has a one amp fuse, indicating that uh, the draw is very little on the tiny motor that pushes the ram. There's the middle cross member where the ram is installed. I think on this side, the, the motor is on the very right end of it. Different angle here. You see uh, there's fuses. Uh, pan the panels are paired. So each panel has a fuse in line. And I think uh, they're 15 amp blade type fuse. Some of the panels at this time are grounded just by a spade connector or a forked type connector under a screw to the aluminum frame itself and others have a Pretty good size conductor. I forget the wire size. Usually a white wire to uh, get ground down to the battery regulators inside the houseboat. The number of regulators that I use, controllers inside the boat, I think maybe there's three or four now. I've got uh, different size inverters installed, a 3,000 uh, and a couple of 1,000 watt at this time. And the batteries are arranged in two or three banks separately in uh, different storage areas where I could stow them. They're acid type batteries. 
uh, marine type connections with the uh, lead post as well. Here you see the limit switch with a little wheel on the end. Uh, there's a diode at the bottom there, black with a silver band. You need diodes on these so when the one way trips, it will allow a path for the electricity to, uh, for the motor to reverse in the morning to uh, reposition the panels. So when the panels tilt as far as they should go before damaging the drive motor, uh, these are adjustable most any direction. The panel itself, the frame on it hits the little wheel and uh, they click and instantly stop the motor from going any further. I ruined some uh, some of the controllers until I figured these switches out with adding the diode. Even though you, the wiring is the same, it's the uh, doorbell wire with a red and a white and a brown covering. And even though you may see the red and white together on each screw, um, that's just to keep them from flopping. One of them would be fine, but I went ahead and connected them both. All they are is the positive. They break the positive to the uh, motor circuit. And this comes from the uh, controller under the enclosure you saw earlier. Here's the panel slowly moving. This is the normal speed. Uh, upcoming, it'll be a shot where I sped it up to 10 times. I think maybe already a, a shot was shown of that and maybe another will come. I think the boat isn't moving at all, of course, because of the spud poles. They'll be down in the mud. The water here is only a couple feet deep. A lot of videos I see people are using ropes and if there's a, a breeze or a, a changing wind, the, the boat's just moving and wiggling about. I'll probably make a video all about the spud poles and how they're made. There's the old logos still intact after <laughs> all these years. This, this is a shot anchored off of uh, Rocky Point Club, Quincy, Illinois. 